This is Next Weather. Well, a pretty decent start to the work week and the school week with sunny, dry weather. That is, if you like uh, hu heat and humidity in right. October, right? <laughs> yeah, so when are we going to get a cool down? We are going to get all of that. Uh, it's going to be a busy week here. I think we're going to go through these transitions uh, that uh, really are not going to just kind of stick here. So by the end of the week, that's when we're looking at some dry air, but we got uh, a lot to work through here. And obviously, the humidity is on much drier, obviously, than yesterday here when we had uh, downpours uh, left and right. All of us got in on the rain yesterday right now pretty quiet some relatively dry air save for the mid keys here with a few showers and storms that have rolled through but those are pretty much done I think for the rest of the evening we're looking quiet the temperatures we've you know not been looking at the heat index or the feels like temperatures because the humidity has been in check but this is now out of control here temps in the mid and upper 90s that's how it feels like Key West right now it feels like 100 degrees outside uh, you can feel it and then that's going to be the setup and then we'll get back into storm chances that are going to come back tomorrow and then really increasing, I think, through the middle part of the week. So warm and humid frontal boundary kind of stalling out here. That will dissipate the next few days. That's not the front that's going to get us here with hopefully some dry air coming up. It's going to be very humid and it's going to be hot. No question. Showers and numerous thunderstorms. In fact, I think Thursday will be the highest precip day as far as storms, some of which could go strong to even potentially severe. They'll have the potential to put down some significant amounts of rain in a short amount of time. I put uh, quotes here on cold. It will be that across central and northern Florida, no question. But this front will kind of struggle to move through South Florida. I think it will clear, but for us, the impact will be a much drier air mass here. So the humidity will be in check and the temperatures will be comfortable, but it's not going to cool us off to the point where it's going to be chilly in the mornings. Tropical satellite showing the remnants of what was, of course, Hurricane Julia impacting with the Central American countries over the last few days. That has now moved off towards the west, but the National Hurricane Center is keeping an eye on this flare up of thunderstorms here. If that moves over water over the Bay of Campeche over the next few days, we could see some slow development. Either way, this feature would be heading back into Mexico with heavy rain, low chances there, but we'll keep watching it the rest of the tropical Atlantic Basin, not expecting anything uh, over the next five days and then some. Still seeing some coastal flooding, minor coastal flooding at the times of high tides here because of the king tides that peaked uh, today as a result of the um, new uh, full moon that we had. The next um, new moon cycle will also be impacting us here with some coastal flooding. So for tomorrow, there's the rain chance still very low with temperatures in the upper 80s, but the humidity will make it feel like it's near 100 degrees for the afternoons and then we'll get into better rain chances for Wednesday. I think Thursday will be the wettest of the next seven days. And then there's that dry front coming in for the weekend, Saturday, Sunday with highs in the mid 80s and much more comfortable humidity.